What is up, my man? Welcome back to more Real Talk Saints. We're just basically give you guys a Pac-Man commentary because Saturday's so close to Monday. We don't want that Monday yaddies to derp it her. You know, today I've been thinking about something, right? And what? What you been thinking about? And what I've been thinking about is everything that I've ever wanted, right? Like, like dreams and goals and missions and equipment. I, I don't know. Things that basically, when I was a kid, I would like do anything for. And I would like, and if anyone told me they had what I wanted, I would be like, oh my gosh, you lucky, lucky, lucky. Stuff like that, the things you wanted, I think it pretty much shapes your personality. Because I've never been given exactly what I wanted, but I've been given everything I needed when I was a kid. I mean, now my wants, you know, since I've ever gotten everything I ever wanted, my wants are just like really low key. And I'm more about the essentials versus what I want at the time. Now, I still do make stupid decisions and go out and buy things that I shouldn't have, knowing that there's other priorities be taking place, but that's just me. And I remember, you know, for example, when I was a kid, I started to do a different Pac-Man Lex. We hardly ever do the Lego thing. But I remember when I was a kid, I've always wanted, like, it's like Sonic, right? I was, like, hyped up for Sonic. Every Sonic game came out, I would want. And I would ask my parents, you know, can I get that Sonic? And at that time, we... We I've never struggled like household wise, but at that time, you know, it was we were trying to rebuild and do the house. And my parents were like, no, you know, but I convinced them and they told me if I helped them do these bricks, it was doing brick work at that time and I asked them, you know, if I help do these bricks, we give me money to buy it. And of course I ended up getting the game. But I don't know what happened, but between that time I got on punishment. So I wasn't actually allowed to play that game. What I do? Well I basically end up reading the manual like twenty four seven. You know, there's those days where on um, PS2 because I don't think I ever remember reading a I never read a stupid Nintendo um game booklet. I can't remember reading I know Mario sixty four sixty four booklets I would read, but but it's always grounded. It's our own punishment. We call it punishment, we really call it grounding, but it's <laughs> back to the story. And I continued to basically read the book. I constantly kept reading the book to that game. Like, I knew the ins and outs of the game as soon as I got them. And Sonic Rise was actually the first ever Sonic game I actually ever 100%ed before. But I would take my time and keep reading it, you know? And that, you know, that was something, like, that was experience of something I wanted versus what I needed. But I really wanted that game. And as older, like I said, and I got older, the more older I get, like, the more I'm not really hyped for Sonic games. You know, like, when I used to see, like, who needs wheels? Who needs air? Well, who needs wheels when you're running the air? Sonic Riders. Like, I was like, oh, my God, I got to get that shit. But down to the point where, you know, I don't really even watch TV a lot. So I wouldn't really know what Sonic game comes out. I know Sonic Plus was coming out, but that's because of YouTube. But, you know, like, the last thing I saw was Sonic 06. When I was watching TV, the advertisement Sonic 06. And I wasn't really even excited for that. You know, part of me was like, oh my gosh, I get that new Sonic game. Little dude, we know Sonic 06. Sonic 06, by the way, while we had Sonic 06, Sonic 06 is that bad. People get that misconstrued. That game is not as bad as people say it is. But anyway, I would sit there and I was like, you hiked up. I'm like, oh my gosh, you gotta get a PS3, yada, yada, yada. And to be completely honest, I'm not really, at that time, I really wanted one because my friend Storm, at the time when I met him in 2010, we wasn't really like, brothers we were just like you know real you know we're like associates but during the time of um during the time i wanted a ps3 was a necessity no i was still in that age to where i wouldn't mind having a, a brand new console right i got one and it's ps3 is still amazing i still love my ps3 only daily 24 7 but you know it, it comes down to basically like being on the ps3 for that long, or being on my Xbox, I had an Xbox between that time, but, but completely off the subject of the story here, my wants and needs has basically decreased over time. I'm not really excited for a lot of things, like, you know, someone who's brand new to gaming would probably be. You know, like, there's nothing that excites me. Like, if I gotta be honest, the only game that actually has me a little bit excited would be the new Smash Brothers, to be honest. Every other game, like Ghost and stuff like that, Call of Duty Ghost, or second son of infamous is infamous second son stuff like that doesn't really excite me you know it, like like i used to be in gaming like i still love gaming to this very day but i've learned to basically appreciate what i have versus what i need to have like there's a lot of things that come out that just i ain't really feeling but my appreciative level has just i guess decreased because things that i've always wanted that everyone had i never got like i, I want nintendo 3ds i never got one I wanted a PSP. I never got one. Now I'm to that point to where, you know, you got a PSP. Congratulations. I got a PS3. You know, 
that, that's how I really feel. Not to be a dick or anything like that, but that's how it comes back, back down to me. So my preference in a lot of things has just changed completely. And I guess it has shaped my personality to I don't really give Free Loop's opinion. Because sometimes that's how I feel. You know, sometimes I just do not care. And that's how I remotely... I, I try to portray that too because I'm not a fanboy of anything. I'm a fanboy of gaming, but like consoles and piece of plastic and stuff could really care less about. I kind of have that I really don't give a crap attitude. People tell me a lot and I kind of have that really rude attitude, but it shaped my personality of not constantly getting everything I ever wanted because I'm not a spoiled brat by any means. Everything I ever wanted, I had to actually get, you know, because I've never stopped. Like, I, I bought my PS3. I had to work in the damn sun sweating my balls off just to get my PS3, you know, versus getting one for Christmas like majority of my friends got, or, or sharing their PS3s. I don't say anybody could share a PS3, but, and stuff like that, you know, I actually had to do it, which actually got me to be a more appreciative person than I ever was before, you know, and that's basically the thing I'm trying to get across here is, sometimes when you don't get something, don't let it freaking get to you as if you're never gonna get it. Just know what you need to get and know what's essential versus your need versus your wants. Try to balance your wants and your needs, and things will be a whole lot better than you actually think they is. I don't want to say is. I don't know if they make any sense. But whatever. That's it, guys. Join me next week when we're talking. Later, guys. God bless. Peace. And thanks for watching. Later, the Banana Nation.